the Stratford Nemesis Chase next in. This is three miles of one furlong. And it's a maiden race, and the top one is Black Prince, David Robertson, Blame Game, Pontypool Racing, Boom Docker, Kevin Meanhan, Scottish Half, Stu Gray, Serpents, Golf, Jim Murray, Warlock, Joshua Sutherland, Cuisine, Carla Agante, Gigantic Run, Leon Van Rinsburg, Mary Mungo, Mitch, Derek Hinton, Oaks Dream, Ghost Zapper, Sinatrione, Molly at Surfer, Soldiers Call, Paul Rhodes, Spanish Senorita, Martin Needham, This Is Where The Fish Lives, Obi-Wan, and Vile Moments for Darren Thompson. So 15 of them then. And away they go towards the first of the fences, and they're all safely over that one. And we've got 15 more to take, and Oaks Dream is the leader from Cuisine in second. A gap of about three then to Scottish Half. And then Blame Game as they swap themselves out into their preferred racing position with back to the normal SO6 jumping weather with the rain coming down as they take number two towards the back Spanish Senorita and Vile Moments are together so we'll past the stand then and Oaks Dream I think that one may have been bred to be an Oaks horse judging by its name is in the lead past the winning post with a couple of circuits to go and Cuisine is in second and Scottish Harbour is in third first three pretty strong out there and the remainder of the field are pretty Tightly packed and headed by Blame Game Sinatrione. After that one, widest on the track is this is where the fish lives. And over a third they go. And well, over that one, okay, with Boom Docker. Just a back marker. Boom Docker, a good horse in the 70s. And I had a horse called Boom Docker a few seasons ago. Managed to win a couple of races. And uh, Kevin Meenahan's got one. So let's hope for Kevin that he gets a, gets a couple of wins with it. Good to see these old names. Back in as they skip over number four. Already seen Kevin Meehan with a Royal Palace on the flat this week. And Oaks Dream is in the lead. They're on Cuisine second. And Scottish Half is third. Soldiers Call is fourth. And Sinatrione. And blame game Spanish Senorita and then Serpents Gulf. This is where the fish lives. And only one serious chill explaining to us what that meant in the forums this week. It's always good if you've got some interesting names and you want to tell us where you got them from. That could be a interesting new thread to put in the forums one or two good ones gone already this week but, uh, Daniel Taunton Gala Aragante has put up about some past winners I'm sure some people are enjoying reminiscing about some past glories and as they come and take the next maybe something that us commentators can use when we're commentating on these races to give a bit of history about who's doing well in it things like that but it's Oaks Dream in the lead anyway from Cuisine second. Scottish half is third as they come to take the next. Those three are oh, a good few lengths clear. Of Sinatrione, who's in fourth. And Serpent's Gulf and Blame Game. Soldier's Call has got the inside rail. This is where the fish lives. Is widest on the track. Spanish Senorita's got a nice run up the inside as well. Mistake there towards the back by Vile Moments. And Boom Docker is just the back marker at this stage. But it's still a fair old way to go. Half the jumping done, and Scottish, uh, Scottish half is back in third. Oaks Dream is the leader. Oh, it's too mixed up there for a second. It's Oaks Dream in front from Cuisine in second as they take the ninth. Scottish half after that one, and oh, we lost Spanish Senorita there, so that one's been pulled up. I think no, it's not Spanish Senorita. It's gigantic run again. Those colours are a little bit similar, the purple and the blue. Difficult to tell sometimes. Oaks Dream and Cuisine dispute the lead. As they come past the stand again, past the winning post, they've got one more circuit of the track to go. We've lost just the one gigantic run. All the old Van Rensburg pulled up. A victim of that three mile plus pull up kit, which infuriates so many people. Doesn't seem to have a lot of rhyme or reason sometimes as to why they do it. And down on his nose there was blame game. As we see them swinging left-handed cuisines in front oaks dream is second scottish half is back in third then soldiers call and spanish senorita and sinatrio after that one in serpent school blame game mary mungo and mitch hasn't got anywhere near the lead today neither this is where the fish lives 
vile moments of Black Prince are towards about Boondock has been pulled up. So they skip over that one and we've lost one there. Warlock's gone. So Warlock's out of the race and Cuisine skips over this ditch in front. Being chased by Oak's Dream, Spanish Senorita and Scottish Half. Then Senatrio, then Soldier's Call. Then Blame Game and Serpent's Call. Mary Mungo and Mitch and this is where the fish lives. The back two now of vile moments and Black Prince. They've got just about six and a half furlongs still to race. And Cuisine is in the lead from Oak's Dream second, second half is third, then Spanish Senorita is four and Sinatrio is five, and then comes Blame Game and Serpent's Gulf. Mary Mungo and Mitch after that one. This is where the fish live being pushed along, then comes Vile Moments. Black Prince is the back marker. Down towards the four from home, then Cuisine in the lead from Oak's Dream in second, Spanish Senorita on the outside. They take the fourth last, and Cuisine is over in the lead. He's clear by two to Oak's Dream in second, then Scottish half, then Spanish Senorita and Soldier's Call making a good move now as Spanish Senorita starts to drop away this is where the fish lives has dropped to the back and is beaten over the third last they go and Cuisine is clear from Sinatrio it looks the biggest danger but on the inside Soldier's Call starts to rally then Scottish Half Oak's Dream is now looking a little bit one pace then comes Serpent's Gulf Blame Game next Vile Moments running on Spanish Senorita's beaten over the second last they go and now Sinatrio has come through to take it up Sinatrio has taken the lead from Cuisine in second then Soldier's Call and Oak's Dream then comes Scottish Half trying to run on his Serpent's Gulf is surely between these as they race towards home now. Two furlongs to go. One more fence to take. Sinatrione is in the lead. Soldier's Call is in hot pursuit over the final fence they go. Sinatrione gets away from it well. Sinatrione from one hit, two, three in the lead, being chased by Soldier's Call into the final furlong. Scottish Half's trying to run on, but it's Sinatrione needs the line. He's a man of length and a half clear. Scottish Call's beginning to close, but Sinatrione's going to have enough to hold on, I think. And racing up towards the line, Sinatrione's going to take this one just by about half. And then Sinatrione takes it from Soldier's Call, Scottish Half, and Oaks Dream, Serpent's Gulf, then Vimons and Cuisine, Black Prince, Senorita, Mary. Mungo and Mitch and Blame Game. This is where the fish lives pulled up today, and it's a win for Molly. It's Surfer hanging on by about half a length. I think Scottish Half was out of the first three all the way around. Sinatrio wins it for Molly. It's Surfer. Soldiers Call for Poor Road second. Scottish Half for Stu Gray was third. Oak's Dream was fourth for John Morgan, and Serpent's Gulf for Jim Murray was fifth.